Okay, so question four. Give us this differential equation, and they say that we've got to show that it's not exact. So, an exact equation is one where you have like f, hmm, where you have like fx plus fy dy dx equals zero. So, where the fx and the fy are partial derivatives, and if those are partial derivatives, then you don't know that you know that fx y equals f y x. The second partial derivatives are equal to each other. So this is going to be the, the supposed fx, this is going to be supposed to fy, and presumably the fact that it's not exact means those things are not going to be, those derivatives are not going to be equal to each other. So we have f y x to the minus 1 minus 3x. The derivative of that is in terms of y, right, because this, this is the fx, and the fx y would be 4x to the minus 1, and then the fy is going to be like 4, and then fyx would be 0, so that's wrong. It's, it, they're not, it's not actually fx, it's not actually fy, because the second derivatives are not equal to each other. So let's just Put that neatly. So it's not exact because you see the derivative of so four point one. So the the partial derivative in terms of y of the first part, which is four y x minus one minus three x. So the partial derivative of that in terms of y equals um, 4x to the minus 1, which is not equal to 0, which is a partial derivative of 4 in terms of x. I'm not sure about this notation. I'd rather put, I'd rather put d, d, y here and d, d, x. Oh, it's partial derivative, so it needs to be this funny... Funny d, d, dx of 4. Okay, so that's why it's not exact. Um, so the next question is so that it is exactly multiplied through by x. So you multiply through by x, and now you have d, dy of 4y minus 3x squared equals 4. Okay, and now this should be, is this the partial derivative in terms of x of, now not 4, but 4x. So I'm going to play that by x. Yes, of course it is. Okay, so that's exact now. So then the next question is, we can solve the differential equation. Okay, of course. So to solve it, you say, okay, f, or was fx is the, 4y minus 3x squared. Fy is the, the 4x bit. And so f is f is uh, integrated in terms of x, this fx thing. So you get 4xy minus 3x cubed. Okay, plus uh, some, some function of, of, um, of y. Okay, well, I don't like doing it like that. Okay, but if you do this fy, yeah, I, I, no, I'll do it like that. Plus so some function of, of y, that's like a constant so far as x is concerned. So if that's what f is, then that means that f y, now we're just in terms of in terms of y will have to be four x minus three x cubed that just goes away, plus now f dash y. So the derivative in terms of y of that f. But that f we did we have the f y equals four x. 
Uh, so that means that f dash y is zero, so that means that f of y is a constant, right? So this means that f of y is just a constant real number. So it means that f is just 4xy minus 3x cubed plus a constant, but then you can take that to the right-hand side and say it's... Because we're going to say... We set that all, this whole thing equal to a constant. Well, it's something different. I'll make it a big C. Um, I cannot make it a B. It's equal to a constant because this is like the... This is the exact... This is the thing that the derivative... The exact derivative of this is the... Is the fx plus fy dy dx. And that's, that's, the, that's the solution. Oh, we could solve this for y, though, unusually. So y, then, is y of 4x minus... Sorry, it means that y is b minus b plus 3x cubed over 4x. Okay. So now we should check that this, this really does solve that differential equation. So if that's what y is, then that's the same as 4x to the minus 1 times b plus... No, let me write it like this. It's the same as a quarter... I want to write it? Yes, I'll write it like a quarter bx to the minus 1 plus 3 over 4 x squared. That's what that is. So that means that dy dx, and I'm just checking it to my that dy dx would be minus a quarter b x to the minus 2 plus uh, 3 over 2, put 2 down, x. Okay, so now the differential equation was, original differential equation was 4y of x minus 3x. 4y over x minus 3x. And then it was added to 4 times dy dx. Okay, and that equals 0. That was the differential equation, right? Yeah, okay. So if I now sub what I, f what I found dy dx to be into here, I get this, this dy dx then, it's, it's minus a quarter, minus a quarter bx to the minus 2, so we have that goes minus bx to the minus 2, and, oh sorry, I'm not thinking about this properly, so minus 4 dy dx. Okay, so that's got to equal zero. So we have y, so we have a y, so our y was a quarter bx to the minus one plus three over four x squared. So you times that y by four over x here, you have it in there, you times by four over x, so you end up with what with b to the x minus two plus 3 to the x, mm -hmm. and you have minus 3x, minus now times this dy dx by 4, you hit plus bx to the minus 2, mm. it's not minus 4, it's plus 4, isn't it? So you get minus bx to the minus 2 plus, so, <laughs> 3 over 2, so then becomes like 6x. Hmm. Where's the error? So we had... Uh, 
There's some, si some sign wrong here because these things need to cancel out. Let me check this. So we ended up with the y, yeah, 4xy is b plus 3x cubed, so you do that with 4x, that's fine. And dy dx, then if you just differentiate that, you get minus a quarter bx to the minus 2, and then you this, you get 2 comes down, and makes it 3 over 2 x to the 1. The equation was 4yx minus 3x plus 4 times the derivative of y. So, we, need time, we do 4x times y, we get, we do 4 over x times y, we get b x to the minus 2 plus 3x then we have minus 3x we get minus 3x then we have plus now 4 times this dy dx is minus bx to the minus 2 plus 6x. Hmm, this is not right. Some signs are wrong somewhere. So fx was 4y minus 3x squared. So f is 4xy minus 3x. Wait, with 3x cubed? No, no, no. That must just be x cubed. Yes. Okay. And fy is indeed what it is. So this needs to be x cubed, right? Okay. That's the, the equation. Um... Here we have x cubed. So this is a quarter x squared. So dy dx now is that's a half x. So this was the differential equation here. So now we have the y is gonna give us So we have 4 over x times y, so we get b x to the minus 2 plus x, then we have minus 3x, plus, then we have, now 4 times the dy dx gives us minus bx to the minus 2 um, plus 2 x, so we have x minus 3x plus 2x, yes that's 0, the whole thing is 0. Yes, so this actually is the right answer now. Okay, so this was just checking, so we don't need to show that. Um, and the answer really is this y equals a quarter bx to the minus 1 plus a quarter x squared. Okay, is that the end of the question, 4.3? Yes.